mortar system. Hanwha Defense and s and Dynamics have developed an advanced mortar system to meet modern combat needs. It features a computerized fire control system and semi-automatic loading, allowing the weapon to fire at a rate of 10 rounds per minute. Mobility is key in modern warfare, so the mortar is mounted on a rotating platform. This platform can turn 360 degrees and elevate between 45 and 70 degrees. Additionally, the mortar is designed for easy integration into existing light combat vehicles, enhancing its mobility even further. Imagine the serious threat posed by a highly mobile and rapid-firing weapon. Additionally, it can shoot standard explosive shells up to 5 miles and rocket-assisted rounds up to 8 miles. Sky Ranger. This mobile weapon system might not handle every threat at once, but if the battlefield is filled with aerial targets, it's got you covered. The Sky Ranger is equipped with an automatic revolver cannon that fires programmable tungsten fragmenting rounds at a blazing speed of 1,200 rounds per minute. When the cannon isn't the right tool for the job, the Sky Ranger system can launch two short range missiles that are guided using either laser or infrared technology. Another impressive aspect is the high-energy laser weapon system with built-in sensors. It can autonomously aim at targets and take them out using a strong 20-kilowatt laser beam. Jarmol when this vehicle with a unique addition on its roof shows up on the battlefield, every drone in the area is doomed. There's a 5 kilowatt laser mounted on the vehicle roof. The weapon automatically fires when the detection system spots a drone. The only catch is the drone has to be within 1.2 miles. If the drone is farther away, it remains operational and the car's weapon becomes ineffective. More bad news for drone operators, there's now a vehicle with a laser on its roof that has its own power supply, meaning it can run operations without needing any external power. However, there are cheaper ways to deal with unmanned targets. Highly skilled snipers are capable of dealing with troublesome drones effectively. It wouldn't hurt for any sniper to learn this, considering there might be a need for it in combat scenarios. Shard This ammunition is designed to enhance the combat capabilities of the most common tank cannons in today's world. The key feature and in innovation lie in a design that combines a streamlined shape with a lighter aluminum base and an elongated penetrating element made of a high-efficiency tungsten alloy. Tests have shown that this design boosts the projectile's penetration by 15% and keeps dispersion levels low. Equally important, shard reduces barrel wear by 25%, cutting down on maintenance cycles and costs. Optio. It's possible you're looking at a robot that could be one of the metal warriors carrying out tasks on the battlefield of the future. Optio measures 94.5 inches in length, 84.6 inches in width, and 43.7 inches in height. Sure, it might not seem all that intimidating compared to other robotic platforms, but its job isn't about looking scary. It's about quietly and efficiently taking the place of humans on the battlefield. The primary tools for getting the job done with Optio are automatic and gyro-stabilized cannons. These help the robot hold its own against other remote-controlled platforms when it comes to firepower. Depending on the tasks at hand, Optio can be equipped with extra modules, ranging from various weapons to detection and surveillance tools. This versatility makes the robot a viable alternative to humans in modern combat scenarios. Spy X. This cutting edge UAV platform aims to revolutionize the world of autonomous weaponry, functioning without the need for human intervention. 
First off, Spy X's drone can fly up to 31 miles. At that distance, it can hit its target with different types of payloads like anti-infantry, anti-vehicle, or anti-missile warheads. They hit the target with an accuracy of just 3 feet, which is a major accomplishment for the company behind them. Plus, it makes the drone way more effective than many others out there. Of course, a drone isn't just a target destroyer, it can work as a scout too, since it's equipped with sensors and cameras among other gear, plus it can team up with other reconnaissance systems from Bluebird Arrow. Leonidas with just one microwave shot, Leonidas can take out a swarm of drones, making it incredibly useful for modern combat. That's very effective. However, its mobility is a bit of an issue. While it's mobile to some extent, there's room for improvement because you have to keep moving and relocating it to avoid being targeted. The obvious solution? Mount it on an armored vehicle. General Dynamics Land Systems took up this task and chose the Striker platform for it. That's the way to do it. The Leonidas system arrives at the spot it's needed in a sturdy armored vehicle providing pretty solid protection. Then with its software, it sends out microwave energy blasts that zap the electronics of any drones in the area before making a quick escape. It's a clever combo that could really boost the fight against drones. Ball tank. Back in the last century during World War II in Germany, they came up with a tank called the Kugelpanzer. Its exact purpose remains uncertain, but experts think it might have served as a mobile observation post for artillery spotters. The Kugelpanzer was equipped with a radio station, but it didn't have any weapons mounted on it. To get inside the cabin, there was a hatch located at the rear. The body rested on two drive wheels, and there was a steering wheel at the back. Take a look over here, you've got a tank that's pretty much the same, but made in a factory in China. Yeah, it looks rather odd, especially when you notice how slow this armored vehicle moves. And to top it off, there's another obvious downside, no turret. Overall, tanks like these probably won't be very useful for militaries that rely on the latest and most effective equipment. However, as an interesting experiment, it's a great idea showing that even the wildest fantasies can come to life. Vapor 55MX Aero Vironment's helicopter-type unmanned aircraft, the Vapor 55MX, can stay airborne for up to 105 minutes. During this time, it can perform various tasks thanks to the array of payload it carries, including LIDARs, multispectral sensors, and communication relays. Additionally, it can deliver packages weighing up to 24 pounds, which might include items no one would be happy to receive, like guided ammunition with GPS tracking. During Aerovironment's tests, some of which you can see on your screens, the Vapor 55MX was able to carry four rounds simultaneously. It smoothly moved to the right spot and then dropped the explosive payload precisely on target. Sure, nowadays drones dropping small rockets isn't exactly breaking news, but unmanned aerial vehicles still find ways to surprise us. Take this drone from Bay Systems, for example. It can carry torpedoes, and if it hits its target just right, it can take down even small ships. Poles Here's an artillery system that operates independently and doesn't require constant repositioning for firing. Developed by Elbit Systems, this all-in-one solution is capable of firing a wide range of ammunition types from just one spot, reaching distances of up to 186 miles. With the Pulse system, you've got 18 Acular missiles for pinpoint support to ground troops, plus 10 slightly smaller ones. On top of that, there are four extra precision munitions and two Predator Hawk missiles ready to roll, and the best part? You can use all these without switching out the main platform. Additionally, Poles boasts another unique feature among reactive fire systems. It can deploy Sky Striker drones with a flight range of over 62 miles, capable of targeting moving objects and returning after the reconnaissance mission.
Sigma. Meet Oshkosh Defense, a vehicle that handles rough terrain and packs a punch when it comes to carrying stuff. Of course, the military got their hands on it and turned it into a wheeled, self-propelled artillery system. What's neat is that they made it fully automatic, keeping up with the latest trends in automating combat equipment. They named this artillery system Sigma, and it features a completely automated loading system. It's located in a turret at the back of a chassis. When it's time to shoot, the system sets up the detonator, loads the projectile, and then starts firing. However, the system doesn't automatically select targets. Instead, it aligns and receives a signal indicating the need to fire from the crew cabin. Nevertheless, this doesn't change the fact that Sigma streamlines artillery shooting, making artillery support more mobile in general. Milan. While combat tactics are changing and tanks are playing a diminishing role, it's still crucial to address the threat they pose. The system showcased on your screens offers a solution to this ongoing challenge. Given the capabilities of modern tanks, Milan fires tandem warheads that can travel up to 1,864 miles, piercing reactive and rolled armor, as well as a 10-foot layer of reinforced concrete. It's worth noting that the Milan launcher system comes equipped with a built-in thermal camera, allowing it to be used for firing at night. This makes it one of the most advanced weapons that can be remotely operated. Cube New solutions are also being developed for combat operations at sea. For instance, there's a system called Cube, which you can see on your screens. It's a 20-foot module that can switch between semi-automatic and fully automatic modes for deploying sea mines, making the process faster depending on the need. The key isn't just about how quickly Cube can lay mines, but also that it's a system that can be easily installed on any ship. That means no need for major modifications or building new platforms. Any ship can be turned into a mine layer in a short amount of time. And if you load several modules onto a ship capable of transporting them, you can blanket a large area with mines in a short span. Sling. Compact four-wheeled cars aren't exactly what you'd call serious weapons, but once they fall into the hands of Elbit, they turn into ultra-mobile mortar systems. Until the vehicle reaches the destination, the system stays in the back of the car. Once the car arrives at the intended spot and the distance to the target is within four miles, the mortar is set up on the ground, and as you can see, this all happens pretty swiftly, as it takes anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds from the start of deployment to firing. Next up is the barrage, firing off 16 shots per minute aimed at 220 degrees. Once the target is hit, the mortar quickly folds back again and the vehicle just keeps on rolling like nothing happened. Hawkeye it's not just Elbit Systems that knows how to turn light vehicles into serious combat units. AM General pulled off the same trick with one twist. They didn't just slap a mortar onto a car, they created a full-on mobile artillery system. Can you guess which vehicle served as the base? Hint, AM General is the creator of the legendary Humvee. Yes, it was indeed transformed into a mobile artillery unit. They made sure to modernize the cannon, too. It's got a new digital fire control system, and electronics handle the elevation and azimuth angles. M230LF According to Northrop Grumman, veterans were so impressed by how well the M230 cannons performed when firing from an Apache helicopter that they wanted a ground-based version. And judging from the video footage, the company delivered. 
The modified M230 LF system now allows for a wide array of ground transport to participate in combat scenarios. This was accomplished by downsizing the cannon turret and elongating the barrel to regain muzzle velocity. Moreover, a safety mechanism was introduced to ensure the protection of operators in the vicinity of the weapon. Drones were also a part of the cannon's upgrade. What role do they play here? Well, just their presence alone motivated the company to adapt the weapon for high-explosive proximity munitions, which are perfect for taking out drones remotely. R-400 with EOS technology, light vehicles can do more than just carry mortars or artillery. They can become on-the-go turrets, adaptable for different weapons to back up infantry. This transformation into a versatile combat vehicle is achieved by adding the R-400 platform onto the vehicle. All compatible systems that can fire without direct human involvement can be attached to it. These include machine guns, cannons, and various other weapons. Plus, if needed, you can even mount two different guns at once, turning the light vehicle into a versatile tool against different targets. According to its creators, moving the R-400 platform from one vehicle to another is easy and can be done in less than an hour. Arrow 3 No doubt one of the most formidable weapons out there is ballistic missiles. There must be a way to counter them which led to the creation of the Arrow 3 system. First off, it spots the threat of a ballistic missile using radar. This info gets sent to a control center where they process it. If interception is needed, interceptor missiles are sent into action. They stay idle in a tube with a diameter of 2 feet and when launched for interception they can travel up to 1500 miles. The interception of ballistic missiles doesn't involve a direct launch at the target, instead it follows the hit-to-kill technology. This means the missile is launched vertically and then changes direction towards the expected interception point. Hells Nowadays, drones are the main driving force behind military advancements. Take, for instance, Raytheon's laser system designed primarily due to concerns about the growing threat posed by drones. To effectively counter drones, the system is installed on a highly mobile off-road vehicle capable of easily reaching areas where drones need to be destroyed or swiftly retreating if the threat becomes too serious. So what we've got here is a mobile and cost-effective defense solution. And the best part? It's really cheap to fire, especially when you compare it to most other existing systems. Actually, having a laser on a car isn't really the pinnacle of mobility. Many companies are aiming to equip airplanes with laser generators. If this happens, using lasers will reach a whole new level, not only in mobility, but also in effectiveness. Project Origin That's a robot. Yes, another robot. But before you roll your eyes, you should know that Project Origin is a robot designed to bridge the gap between human soldiers and unmanned systems on the battlefield. Think of it as an active tester, helping military folks understand how to interact with robotic counterparts. It's like a liaison between the world of humans and the world of military robots all in one. In various training sessions involving the robot, it was used in different ways. It was equipped with M240 and M2 machine guns, outfitted with an automatic grenade launcher MK19, as well as mounted weapons and anti-tank missiles. Of course, during training, the robot wasn't just used as a remotely controlled cannon, but also as a versatile tool. It was equipped with various devices to aid in reconnaissance, camouflage, electronic warfare, and autonomous operations for restocking supplies. After completing recent training exercises, soldiers now have a clearer understanding of how to work both alongside and against unmanned systems. But this project won't stop there. There's still plenty of different tests ahead.